Hello everybody and welcome back to Patience Simulator where we are currently observing the Japanese attacking India while we are making our way through some of these tech upgrades here. We can start thinking about how we want to break into this war though. That's definitely something we can begin to think about at this time. The question is, how exactly do we want to go about doing that? It will be complicated. Hello. What's going on over here? Why are these areas Turkish all of a sudden? That's all still central powers. Okay, I guess they must have Turkish troops there working on pushing this out. And we've also got Netherlands up here. Uh, that won't last long, if I'm honest. What I'm really interested in is seeing if the Japanese manpower starts dropping dramatically as their invasion of India begins to happen. And it is dropping, although... It just jumped up by, like, uh, whoa. it's going all over. Our estimate is going all over the place. Okay. We're judging it at about 1.7 million. Okay. So that seems to be about where it's at. I would definitely like to get the Japanese, like, locked down navally. I don't think that's a realistic situation. So, if that's not realistic... I mean, not realistic on a reasonable time frame, anyway. It's somewhat realistic. Ish. There's so many destroyers. And their destroyers would just get blown out of the water by our aircraft and our our battleships. If we had any battleships, <laughs> which we don't. Um, our battleships are a long ways away, that's for sure. That is for sure. We've managed to stay out of the war, which is something. It, it's certainly something. I'm, I'm not sure if it's like a goal in and of itself. But it is definitely a thing that has not happened. Like, it's an action that hasn't occurred. So... Yay? I guess? <laughs> Maybe that's a win. I don't know. If we take a look at what's going on over here, honestly? Would we be better off to attack Britain? No. The answer is no. We would not be. Okay, good to know. I was thinking about that, because I was thinking, maybe we can grab all of Africa over here and then invade the British Isles? And then from there, we'd be in a really strong position. But I don't think that's going to happen. Now, what is going to happen is Indonesia is probably going to assume leadership of the faction at some point. Which I don't love, but here we are. We're basically capped as far as our economy goes. And we're doing a little bit of research here. But I definitely want to start thinking about making some moves. What's going on with Burma? They're at war with a million different people. The British were basically unable to break Burma. So what makes me think that we would be able to break it? Not much, in all honesty. Not much at all. And they're weaker than Siam, I believe. Actually. Probably only because they have, the, like, the, the manpower differential here is what I'm looking at, right? So, Burma has three quarters of a million to a million available manpower. Whereas these guys, if I can click on them, there we go, they have 33,000. Now, the reason for that, I'm willing to bet, is because their mobilization is not very high. And if we were to declare on them, they would mobilize up. I'm willing to bet that would be what would happen. So if we go into our naval view, were we able to make this happen? Well, no, <laughs> we were not. We were able to have these in two separate task force. So uh, that's a thing. That is certainly a thing. And I would very much like... Something's not right here. 
Ah. That's what it is. Okay. There we go. I would very much like to continue working on our heavy ship hulls. That is incredibly important for us. And also incredibly important for us would be finishing out our naval doctrine. So we can definitely grab integrated convoy defense here. That'll be fine. And then we need about 400 more in order to get that all done. Now, we know that we need about 375 air experience to max out our planes. That's fine. Japan is very much not interested in attacking our faction at this at this moment. Oh, we can back off our steel order. I love it. Do it. Cool. So Japan seems to be not interested in attacking us, but man, they just keep attacking Germany and they keep getting repulsed. And I love it. This is amazing. What is their manpower at now? Estimates are fluctuating around 1.6 to 1.8 is the low end of the estimate there. They're definitely losing troops in this, though. They're going negative on that, and that's really, really good for us. That means that they're going to be overextended here quite soon. I'd like to see the U.S. get a little bit more involved in Europe. But they're still trying to take the British Empire out of here, which is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. So, hypothetically, if we were to talk to these guys, the U.S. here, they've got some fascism and some communism growing. That's not necessarily great. But if we were to talk to them and improve relations with them a bit, what would that actually get us? Maybe a non-aggression pact? That's not a lot of reasons. Not a lot of reasons at all. Bracket shooting does finish up there. I'm just waiting for it to pop in up here. Sometimes it takes a bit. There we go. And next up, we are going to go for ladder shooting. Cool. So that'll give us some pretty hefty attack bonuses. Always great. Torpedo tube mine deployment is going to be done soon. And can we preemptively mine things? That would be funny to have, like, this whole area preemptively extremely heavily mined. I don't know if we can do that, though. We'll find out. That's definitely something I'm interested in finding out. So we're going to get torpedo tube mine deployment done here. And next up, we are going to... Let's see here. We were working our way down this way. Yeah. So we're going to grab magnetic mines to boost our mines damage. And I'm going to come down over here. I'm going to select just a single submarine. So we only have one submarine right now. So let's grab this task force and grab our submarine. I want to move that into a new fleet. And we don't need this to have anything except... Uh, hang on, this is the wrong... Right, I did that wrong. Okay. So I want to move this back into here, like so. Okay. Now where did our carrier go? That is an excellent question. We had a carrier. We definitely had a carrier. I'm so bad at doing this. Uh, there was an accident from training. Did it sink our carrier? No. I think our carrier may have just split off. Okay, it's here. Yeah, they're repairing. The carrier is currently repairing. So, that's fine. I'm going to tell these guys for now to stop their naval exercises. Let's pull everybody back. Cool. We'll get those repairs done. And from here, I want to select this. I want to grab just the submarine, and I want to create a new task force from the submarine. Okay. And with that, I want to make a new fleet. Got it. Fantastic. So, 
We have to be at war in order to activate mind laying. Sad. I'm not shocked about that. Not shocked at all. So we'll disband that and the task force will move to reserve. And then it should... Oh, we don't have this set up correctly. Uh, let's set up the carrier group. There we go. And now it moves back from the reserves. Perfect. Okay. So that should be fine. All of these are repairing. And where are they going now? Are oh, they going up to Queensland? Because we just finished an another destroyer. Okay, good. That's fantastic. We like it. So now we know that we can't preemptively mine lay. It would be hilarious if we could, but I can see why that would be considered a wee bit broken. For sure. I'm kind of glad that you can't do that. It would be so cheesy. So Japan is continuing to attack Germany here. And that's all well and good. The question is, if we were to attack Japan... How much do you think they'd actually focus on us? Now, that's an interesting question, and I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. That would be... Good to know, but one of those things that you kind of can't know, right? I don't know exactly how the AI will respond in that situation. They're already at war with the German Empire, and they're at war with the Allies, and they're at war with the North American Association. So, to a large degree, they have bigger fish to fry, right? In theory, anyway. So, we could think about a naval invasion of, like, New Zealand to try to liberate New Zealand. This is all within one sea zone, which is very convenient for us. If we wanted to do that... Hmm. I think we should get one division of armor training. Okay. We just don't have very many armor divisions currently. So we'll get that going. Just the single division. And we'll see if that bug reoccurs. I've done a little bit of testing since we got rid of those. And I haven't had it reoccur. So we'll see if it reoccurs or not. But I'm definitely very, very interested in getting a little bit more armor over here. And in general, I'd like to get ourselves a nice little invasion plan over here. We can see this is only a level 1 naval base and a level 2 naval base, a level 6 naval base up here. So this is probably where we would want to begin our invasion, right up here. That said, we don't have all that much navy for it. We're working on it. We're going to have another submarine hull pretty soon. Actually, we're going to have a new carrier pretty soon. February of next year. So we're under a year away from that. That's fascinating. We're at 318 in terms of our air experience at this time. There's our separate fire mains. So that means that our navies will take less damage. And then we're going to go for landing craft here. Because our current naval invasion capacity is 10. This will bring us up to plus 40. So will that be 50 or 40? I think it'll be 50. We're not going to need 50. I can tell you that. We'll get landing craft researched there. And eventually we're going to want to grab diesel powered emergency pumps as well. Maybe we should have grabbed that before landing craft. But I want to have the option open to invade with a larger force than 10 in case war breaks out soon. And we're probably going to instigate it relatively soon as well. A lot of these areas over here, I feel like Indonesia will push Japan out pretty quickly. That said, they're having some supply issues, particularly out over here. Although not really so much in locations where it matters on Borneo, except for up here. That's not great. Okay. Okay. Our radar stations will be finishing up soon enough, and we can work on air control over some of these islands, or rather some of these sea zones over here. Like, this one, this one, this one would be three huge shield, or three huge shields. Actually, we might not even need this one. What if we went for, like, this one? Hypothetically, this one. We might have a hard time reaching it. And this one. 
That would be a huge shield for us. They'd have to come around this direction, and our navy would be here. Which would mean that we would also want to have a shield here. So if we did that, one, two, three, hypothetically, four. But in reality, we could get away with having it be here and here. With maybe a little bit out this way as well. Air wings would be a manpower problem. But it's definitely an interesting thought. I would like to upgrade particular air bases, if that's what we're going to do. So this air base here seems fine. What level is that? It's currently a level 3 air base. So I want to go through this and look for particular air bases. Like this one. Let's see, what else? This one. Okay. Western Australia is a pretty major one for us. That said, that airbase is here. We also definitely need the airbase in Northern Territory. So we'll get all of those upgrading. Cool. Our radar stations will build eventually. But I want to get these airbases online. How long will it take to build each of these? A week per level? That's really not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Cool. We'll get that underway, and we'll get those air those particular airbases a bit more online. Because I think that's going to be our overall plan, is that we're going to set up some sort of a defense aegis here. Ideally here, 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 and here. If we control those, we are relatively safe from Japan. Now, to be clear, Japan can definitely break through our defenses. But they have other problems. That's the idea here. We do need to have a sufficient fleet, at least one carrier group. A approximately. The heavy ships might be negotiable on that, realistically. And cruisers might be re negotiable on that one too, realistically. But at least one carrier group here, out over here to control this area. And then air wings up these directions, for sure. Definitely an air wing out over here as well. And then something like, I mean, this would be ideal, but they can still sneak through by going like this. Maybe we just hope Indonesia can control this area. If Indonesia can control this area, then that makes our defense really, really simple. We control here, 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 here. And it's done. As long as Indonesia can hold here. Which in theory, they should be able to do. In theory. In practice... Probably not so much. You know, I actually think I'm going to cancel this line. I want this manpower freed up for our air bases. We can currently hold eight, 800 airplanes here. Now, what kind of range would our fighter threes have? So these are just carrier fighter threes, keep in mind. We don't have the factories really to build regular fighter threes. But if we were to move a couple of carrier fighter threes... The Fireflies over this way. Yeah, we can see their range here. Do any of our upgrades increase their range? I want to check that. So the Mark 1, yes. It's not a huge increase to the range, but it does increase it. Good to know. Okay, well, I think we're starting to get serious about this war with Japan. We're not quite there yet, for sure. And I'd like to have at least several submarine task forces that can build some pretty good mine minefields in some of these locations. I think that'll be pretty useful for us. Mine laying operations like all along here. Not the worst of ideas. So we've got three days left on our magnetic mines here. One day left. Okay. Magnetic mine finishes. So next up, we're going to go with degaussing, which will be mostly defensive. But naval mine damage here and mine laying from air would not be bad. More naval mine, mine laying and more aerial mine laying. Okay. More naval mine damage, specifically. We're going to go for degaussing here. 
That'll be done in 68 days. Ladder shooting will be done in 23. And then from there, we're of course going to go for shell dies. And we're also going to want to grab the diesel powered emergency pumps. I definitely want to have our naval upgrades here before we declare. We don't necessarily need this one, but I'd like to have all of these and all of these. So that shouldn't be too, too bad to get all of those. And that'll buy some time for our ships to be produced. Sometime. Not a lot of time, to be fair, but some time. Yeah, the default composition of air wings here, this is actually reasonably fine. We're going to have half and half fighters and bombers. Okay, we'll just bump that up. So it is actually using the full capacity. Cool. And our carrier will be able to project some air power out here as well. Or by the time we declare this, we'll probably have two carriers. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're definitely not going to declare this before the 9th of February. I think that's pretty clear. But we're starting to get serious about going to war. We need to alleviate our manpower issue. And we really do need to alleviate our economy issue. Just generally, our economy is very weak. If we can strike out and take some of these islands, specifically New Zealand, from Japan, and then move our way up over here, that would be absolutely huge. Okay, what did we just finish up? That was our... Okay, that was our ladder shooting, I think. Yeah. So we're going to grab the diesel-powered emergency pumps here. I'm not going to spend any experience on this for the time being. We're not interested in that. I'd rather finish off our naval doctrine. So that'll be fine. 166 days on that. Yes, it's, it's quite a long time. But that's fine. So we're going to finish cruising through there. And we're going to grab our fire control methods here soon. And with our navies good to go here, approximately, we need to construct them a lot. But with our navies approximately good to go here, how are we looking? Right, we need to drop the destroyers out of here because they don't actually exist. They're in this task force because they refuse to move down. So we have three subs, we have four destroyers, and a carrier. This is really not as balanced as it will be once we get a, a full carrier group done. That's for sure. No doubt about that. But we are going to have our second carrier done soon. But what we really need is at least one heavy ship and at least one cruiser. All of that would be very good. I would love to throw more dockyards at it. That's something we can do once we take New Zealand. So that'll be fine. Let's check in real quick on Japan's manpower and naval numbers. Oh, that's dramatically down. Nice. Okay, what's their naval power looking like? About the same, I think. Okay. Okay. So their naval power is difficult for us. But I do think that Japan is... Like, we're starting to see the end of Japan here, I think. Japan is overextended. And they will eventually start to crumble. So that's absolutely great. Our landing craft will be done in three days. And once that's done, we can start preparing an invasion of New Zealand. Landing craft is now complete. Wonderful. We're going to grab shell dies here. There we go. And we need to start preparing an invasion force here. So we're going to use our armor, which is not particularly amphibious, but we're going to use our armor here. And this is how many? Nine divisions right now? That's not bad. Okay. So we're going to take a total of 24 divisions and move them into a new army. That was a new army group. I'm dumb. <laughs> okay, we're going to re-grab these so we can double click to, to grab all with the same template. Perfect. And then we'll just grab... Nope, I keep doing that wrong. Okay, we can just grab all of these. There we go. This is the majority of our army, to be clear. And we're going to put that into a new army with a new commander 
And let's see here. Planning speed. Do any of these... Okay. Sure. This is all fine for the moment, I think. But we don't have a Spirit of the Academy. We don't have any of these. We might want to do that for the army. Although, we don't want to spend the experience yet for air or navy. So, that's okay. Let's see. We can do... Meticulous preparation. I think that's good. Overwhelming firepower. Sounds good for what we've got going on here. And then for our last one... I like the flexible organization here. We'll let that go. Cool. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we might seriously begin thinking about... Let's see. I just want to see... What is this directionality? Does this dip up into this zone? I think it might. We're going to cancel that, and we're going to launch it from here instead. Yeah, that definitely only goes through the one zone. Beautiful. So we'll launch it from our capital out over like this. We'll see when we actually want to launch this, so it may or may not be next episode. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Ken to win. I don't have my notepad up because I just restarted my computer and uh, I was reading it off of the scroll here. Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, Amici Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambrin, Martin Lawrence, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.